family it's the mobile home diva and in today's video i am going to be touring this mobile home or manufactured home out here at home max in lexington south carolina this is model number seven it's how they name their homes this is model number seven all right we'll walk around the back so you can see the exterior of this home this looks like a really big one they've got some really nice homes out here at home max i thoroughly enjoyed you probably hear my ice water i thoroughly enjoyed touring these homes this place was recommended to me by one of our subscribers who purchased mobile home number two if you're interested in seeing the beautiful home that she purchased make sure that you hit the i card above and tour that home as well I see a transom window there. Can't wait to see what room is in. So let's go in and have a look, shall we? It's a lot of rock and gravel out here, you guys. So I don't walk around the whole house, but I want to give you an idea of what the in exterior looks like as well, okay? All right, let's go in and see what we got. Hi family, just a quick disclaimer. I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing or specification, all the information that I have will be down in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, so we just came in from this door. Um, this is the entry. This is the entryway area. Really nice. Still getting used to this gimbal, so bear with me. This is the entryway area, you guys. When you come in, this is the living room. And this is what you see. It's also a sneak peek at everything else we'll see. But this is the living room. So you got these cutouts here. And you got that space there for a TV. Not a big TV. So that may be something you want to consider when looking at this home. I wouldn't let it detour me though. You don't necessarily have to put um, a TV in this room. This could be more of a formal area. It's a really nice living room. And I love the built-ins. I'm a sucker for built-ins. So this is your living room. Let's see if we have lights. If so, I'm gonna turn this fan on. It's hot out here today. Okay. Alrighty, here we are. All right, so this is what it looks like all lit up. Really nice. Let's walk on over to the built-ins. Really nice. All right, I'll go over here and spin around. So this is your living room, all right? And then next to your living room, you have this dining room space. Love the recessed ceiling. You have a ceiling fan in the dining room. And this is a long table, you guys. You see how long this table is? So this is a nice space. Think about how you would decorate it. You have all of this space. Really nice. So that's your dining room and your formal living room. Okay. And then next to the dining room, you have your kitchen. So let's go on into the kitchen and explore, shall we? You've got all of that pantry space around your refrigerator, lots of shelving all around the refrigerator. You've got space for what I would probably put a beverage station, a coffee station. 
You've got a bench there for seating. Love it, love it, love it. Right under the window. If this space didn't have anything, that's exactly what I would do with it. I would put a bench there. So that's super nice. You have, you have all of these cabinets, all of this counter space. You have stonework over your stove and all of this cabinet space. So this place is not lacking for storage. What I appreciate about this home, this dealership, is that all of their homes have a drawer for every cabinet. That is such a nice touch. You have real glass backsplash in here. Love it. I even love the color. It's just a clear glass. Love it. Love that it extends around. Super pretty. You have this large island with a sink and it has two levels. So you have all of this prep space for dishes, for uh, preparing food or what have you. But then your guests also have all of this space or so your kids, your family, whatever, have all of this space that they're not even bothered by the fact that there's a sink there. You see what I mean? So really nice touch, really, really nice. You got pennant lighting in here, really nice. Want to give you a good view of the kitchen. Super, super nice, love it. So, so far we've seen the living room, dining room and kitchen. Off the kitchen, you've got this bonus room, family room, den, whatever you want to call it. You've got space for a TV up over the real fireplace. And you've got space for uh, a couch, a sectional, whatever. This could be a playroom. This could be craft room. It could be whatever you want it to be. It would actually be, for me and my husband, the room that we lounged in, right? And leave the other living room space for like a formal area. No TV in there, just nice decor and furniture. And this space would probably be what we, where we lounge and watch TV and hang out right off the kitchen. That's, that's what we would do. That's what we would do. So let's take a look at this. The stonework is the same stonework that's over the stove. Again, this is a real fireplace, not gas or electric. You've got the stone mantle up here. And you've got space for a nice size TV, at least a 65 inch up there. Super cool. Another nice feature of this home that I wanted to be sure to pay attention to is this utility room. All right, so all of this is utility room, guys. You have the back door there. You have space for a washer, a large washer and dryer over there. You've got a pantry over here with a door that closes. So you've got a, a, a pantry there. And then you've got all of this workspace. So you've got a sink. Look at all the cabinets, upper and lower. You've got a window that opens in here. You have got some space in this utility room. This is super nice. Like we could have cut out half of this room <laughs> and I would have been totally satisfied with it. But this is really nice. You've got pantry space. You've got space to fold clothes. You've got a sink in here. You can put uh, a deep freezer next to your washer and dryer. Like this laundry room has it all. It has it all. Really nice. Super cool. All right, very nice. Now we're gonna go over here and take a look at the additional bedrooms, okay? From the living room or the front door, this is the fr first door that we see. It is a guest bedroom. So you have guest bedroom number one right here. Got your window over there, bringing in the light. And then you've got a standard closet here really nice and this is across from the front door so this is guest bedroom number one next to guest bedroom number one you've got your guest bath it has a transom window 
All right, love the green color in here. Love it, love this color. So you've got all of the space in your guest bath. All right, and then next to the guest bath, you've got guest bedroom number two. Let's take a look at the closet. So you've got a walk-in closet in this one. Really nice. Look at all the shit, the space for clothes in this walk-in closet. Really nice. Beautiful. Nice walk-in closet. As your kids get bigger, they have more things, or maybe you stay with friends or siblings. You, they have more space to put their things. Very nice. So this is guest bedroom number two. This is a four bedroom. So you've got a larger bedroom here, guest bedroom number three. Awesome. And let's take a look at this closet. Also a walk-in closet. All right. So that walk-in closet is in there. Oh, and it ha don't let me miss the additional shelving. It also has the additional shelving. Very nice. Very nice. So I'll go back out and turn around. All right, guest bedroom number three. So we've seen the three uh, guest bedrooms. We'll walk back around the corner through the former living room area, past the dining room, past the kitchen, that huge laundry room, and your den, family room, rec room, whatever, into the master. Now, people are telling me that the new way to say this is primary room. You guys know what I mean when I say master. Trends come and go. This is the master. I don't care what name you label it. <laughs> it's the master. It's the primary. It's what have you. I hope everybody knows what I mean. I'm a creature of habit. I've been saying master all my life, you know, and I've never been the person to follow trends. So please don't get offended if I don't change with it. This is the master. You've got the French doors. I would put glass doors here that open into the master. This master is huge, love it. You have his and her sink. One over here with that same glass tile. You've got lots of storage space, three over there. And then you've got two cabinets and three drawers. Love it, love it, love it. So his and her sinks that have the same amount of storage. Cabinets and shelves, both have a mirror. Really nice. So you have that stonework in here as well. The steps up into that large garden tub. Two big windows that overlook the tub, bringing in a lot of light. That's why this bathroom is so light and spacious. Feeling and looking because of all of that light. You've got um, a bookshelf there, bookcase or built in there for, I would make it look like a spa in here with rolled towels and toiletries and things. Love the fact that um, this dealership puts the towel racks in their homes. Always a nice touch. And then you have your shower here with range shower, shower head and built in seating. This door doesn't slide, it opens, which I love. And then you've got the real tile here in the shower. And I love the light color of the tile, really nice. Across from the shower, you have the toilet room that has a door, always a nice feature. And then this is the master closet that also has a transom window and it has his and her shelving, just alike. Really nice. Really nice. Love it, love it, love it. I love it. I love the color of these floors. Can you see them? Love it. Oh, gimbal getting out of hand. Let's see if I can bring her back around. 
<laughs> Gimbal getting out of hand. I'm learning, you guys. I'm actually love using it. I've had it for a year and haven't really used it like I should. So thanks for all your comments. All right. I hope you love this home. If you do, all the information that I have on this home will be down in the description box. You can contact HomeMax uh, Home Center if you're interested. This is a 32 by 80. It has 2,254 square feet, okay? Go ahead and give them a call if you have any questions regarding pricing, specifications, or how to find this home. Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva. You guys have a great day.